Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scrapdiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on today with the project share. Um, I finally got to play with this die set right here, and this is the record player gift box set that's in the Becky Cat store. This die is so cute, and I'm super excited to share the project that I created. Um, it does come with all of the pieces for the base, layering pieces, and all of that fun stuff. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So here is my finished project. I think it came out so adorable. Um, this um, record gift box measures, let's see. It is approximately, I'm gonna say six and a quarter inches by five and a half. That's just approximately, and so you have an idea of the size. Um, so what I did was I did cut it out, um, the base in the gold foil cardstock, because I wanted a little bit of shiny gold cardstock um, kind of peeking, peeping through. And then I went in with some glitter cardstock and then Pattern paper. I did use the um, Live Life Happy Paper Collection by Pebbles. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember, but I will link the product information in the description box below if you have any questions. Um, I did use a double stitched rectangle die to die cut out that holographic paper by Sizzix. You guys know I'm loving that cardstock. Look how pretty it is on this. Um, I just love the way it sparkles. Um, I did use some dyes from my stash. The Hey Girl is a dye from my stash. And then I used this heart dye. I picked this one up off of Etsy not too long ago. And this one's a really pretty one. Um, so it just says Hey Girl on the front. Um, I did layer all the side pieces. It does come with the layering pieces for the side. So it says happy, happy, happy all the way around. And then on the bottom, I just used this shiny uh, heavyweight uh, cardstock I had in my stash. I think it's from the Chaos Craft store. Um, so when you open it up, it looks like this. So this is the inside of the record player. So it has this little pocket where you can house your record. How cute is that? Um, this record is a an exclusive die set from Nicole. Um, she was selling this in her Etsy store, but it is no longer available. However, if you wanted to create a record you totally could with a five inch circle the larger circle is five inches and then the smaller one is two inches and then you would just poke a hole use your we are memory keepers hole punch and punch a circle in the center and then you've got something that looks like a record it's not going to have the embossing detail like the die but maybe you can find an embossing folder that may work um, just to give you an idea, if you don't have this die, you can still make this project. Um, so anyway, this houses the little record right here. And on the back, you can totally write your birthday note uh, to the recipient or whatever occasion it's for. Um, I did make the decorate the pocket. I cut it out of the gold foil cardstock and then layered it with the fun rainbow um, pattern paper. Um, I did use a heart die cut from my stash and then I sewed down the middle. Um, I did use some of that um, layering, oh, what is that stuff called? It's that shred. I got it off of AliExpress. It came in like a long tube of it, or not tube, but you can also get it at Dollar Tree, but I was, wasn't able to find the pink, so I got it off of Ali. And then I used the Hello Friend little page flag uh, that says hello friend. So I thought that was so cute. And then on the bottom is the actual record player. I've got my record and as you can see it says happy. So this is a happy record. <laughs> and then you have the little um, needle. Um, I did layer everything with three millimeter foam so it is popped up for dimension. This little piece right here, I think it's called the equalizer where you kind of push it up and down. That's what it's supposed to mimic. And then you've got a couple of buttons. I did use a uh, black glitter cardstock to make it pop a little bit. Um, I'm wishing that I didn't make these um, dimensional because you can't really close it flat. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's still a super cute gift box and I'm totally, you know, totally 
can make a belly band to keep it closed or wrap it with some ribbon. Um, so not a big deal, but I love, you know, I love adding dimension to my die cuts. And so that's what I did for this right here. But if you wanna keep it flat, don't add any foam or dimensional tape. So that's what that looks like. And then you have the little box that slides out. So here is the little compartment. It's super cute. And then as you can see, I have it decorated with that gold glitter cardstock on the inside. And you have a ton of room to put um, another record if you want. You could put like three records if you wanted to and have like different records if you wanted. Um, or you could use it as happy mail and put rosettes or embellishments in this little box. This is the exclusive die set. Um, and this came with the record and this is the sleeve. Um, so this is what that looks like. Um, again, you could totally make this if you don't have this die set. Um, it would be very simple to recreate. Um, but this does also house a record. So you have a sleeve for your record. Um, so super, super fun. Uh, so that's what that looks like. And that is it. This just slides back in like so. And this just closes up. And you've got an adorable gift box uh, ready to go. And you can do so many different themes. I do wanna mention that I did follow Tracy Farr's tutorial. I will link it down below. She does an excellent job on showing you how to put this gift box together. Um, and her examples are really, really cute. She made one for her daughter. And I loved, the, loved how hers came out. Uh, so check that out. Um, I will link the product information in the description box below. If you have any questions, just ask. Thanks for stopping by my channel today and I will catch you in the next video. Bye for now.